Hi folks, <clears throat> I just finished a uh, project, actually redid a project. Um, I, I've uh, modified this little drill press, bench top drill press. This is a uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, they, they typically go on sale for $54.99. Occasionally, you can get them for $49.99. That's how cheap this thing is. Now, there are some extra parts on here. It's got this pulley. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. It's my new camera, by the way. I have another one very similar to it, but this one's brand or new to me. The camera is from, I believe, the year 2000. And I got it for $15 on eBay, and they're still, they still work. It's called a uh, flip cam. And uh, it holds two hours of 720p video, which is good, you know, good enough for me. So, uh, <clears throat> this, these are the modifications. I put this, this is a, a, the spindle, same as this, from a different Harbor Freight drill press. I had two of them. I used this spindle on here, and I made a shaft. I'll go around the other side and show you that. I made a shaft for it, and I put it on a couple of pillow blocks, cheap pillow blocks from China. And um, to gear that down again, notice the small gear there and, uh, to a big gear here to a small gear. So this, this has the effect of cutting this down by 50% this this speed and then we go from the small gear here to this gear which is another uh, let's see this this uh, pulley is uh, one and three quarter or two inches and this is four four inches I think or four and a half but this is a this is a uh, it says five inch, but this is a um, for a half inch belt, so it fits in there further. So in effect, it's not a five inch, but it gives me the gear reduction I need. I do my drilling almost all on steel, and these things stock are just way too fast. I mean, you can't really drill steel with them. So I, I got it geared down. And right now she's running at, I don't know, about, uh, I haven't hooked up the, the uh, tachometer to it yet, um, but I'm guessing she's running at around 300 RPMs. And it's not perfect by any means, but it does spin the spindle slower. And it was a very cheap, an easy mod actually the reason I'm showing you this is uh, in case anyone else has an idea to mod these things and get an idea don't do it this way with these gears all exposed that's fairly dangerous um, now this guy here I have to explain ordinarily you push out on that motor to tighten the belt between here and here that's how they're built but this is different now, so I'm pulling in on that motor to tighten against this guy. And I'll take you around the other side now and show you how that works. I turn off that light because it'll be in the way. Let me go around this side. All right. Okay, we see the modification here. This is the the uh, pulley, and it's on a hinge. You may be able to see that hinge right there. This is a door hinge pinned on the same. Let me back that off. There we go. That's. This is a hinge that this 
shaft is mounted on that's pinned on the same hinge as the motor. So they they flap. Um, when you tighten one, you tighten up, you're pulling on both. Pull on this way, pull this way, on this, and you tighten both. And I have this pretty loose. I don't like it tight. That way it's got... Uh, it's got a, uh, if you have it tight, um, it's more dangerous. Loose is, if it happens stuck in that chuck, it'll spin the, it'll spin up here, up here, before that chuck starts spinning me around. It'll slip up here, I should say, before it starts spinning me around. That's why I like it. So I deliberately set this loose enough so when the if the drill get bits drill bit gets stuck, it doesn't either grind up the shaft of the drill bit or throw me around with it in case I don't have it clamped down well. Now I want to get to the meat and potatoes here. I'm going to take you around. I should have got, had this figured out better. I gotta thread my way around here uh, to the other side in order to see that. See the, the guts of what I did here. Now I'm going to zoom us a little bit. All right, this is that hinge, and you can see in there, it's hinged on the same hinge as the motor with this plate and this, um, these two pillow blocks holding this shaft. To hold this, that's all there is to it, basically. This, uh, I broke the capacitor holder, so I made one out of PVC pipe there. But, uh, basically, that's, that's all I had to do to build that step. Previously, I had it on the other side. And, um, it was dangerous, dangerously close to the, spindle actuator and uh, it didn't work well so I, I moved it on this side and put this pulley on instead of a smaller one to get it geared down even more and now I still can um, change these this gearing to about more than double the speed so I can get it up to probably around a thousand RPM um, with this same rig just by moving these two pulleys belt the belt up this side you can't move this one obviously there's only one step on there but uh, and I also put a longer zoom you back out I put a longer uh, gooseneck on this in a different light because the one that comes with it's real short, and it's it's a pain. So basically, that's the guy, and um, certainly not perfect. I mean, she's got a little wobble to the to the gears, but uh, not too bad. It works. And we got the speed down here, where, where it counts, to what I want. That spindle is turning about, I would say, um, 300 RPMs, which is a good speed for cutting steel, drilling steel. And uh, I just thought I'd show you guys this rig. Again, this is a 
hinge that's a door hinge half of a door hinge pinned through the same pin as the as the motor and it's just rigged up like that see if I tighten this basically if you tighten this you tighten the whole system because it pulls on both belts so it's got a one-step tightening system and that shaking is mostly from the cheap belt these small belts um, when you run a really small belt with the with the, the union on the belt causes them to wobble a little bit plus this this isn't the best rig here but it's easy to change if I do it over I'd use a bigger I'd use bigger pillow blocks these pillow blocks were like a dollar and a half a piece off of eBay from China and they're on a uh, I think that's a 12 millimeter those are 12 millimeter so I cut this shaft at 12 millimeters and um, that's it got our on off for our thing on off there and I just wanted to show you that in case anybody wants to mod their computer their computer their uh, drill press and give you some ideas okay I decided to add on the old video the old uh, mod which I had bolted here I had that those uh, pillow blocks that shaft mounted here and uh, it was dangerously close to this guy had running my hand into that all those belts so that's why I moved it to the other side and the following is the video that the other the other model the, the first modification Okay, here, here is the, our setup. This is the um, setup that I can move it over here and get some of the light. Ah. The tilt on with clamps right now. That's the gearing. Low to high, low to high. And I'm thinking I got that down to about 250 RPMs from 760, which was the lowest. I'm going to turn it on here. There's the button. And we'll see what it looks like. There it is. Then I got that uh, the shaft. That's not an idler pulley. That the whole shaft spins. And those are pillow blocks. I think I paid a uh, dollar seventy cents a piece for them on uh, eBay in China. We'll see how long they last. And I had to turn that gear upside down in order to uh, get the, the right gearing effect. And um, this is the. Um, chuck and now that it's at 250 RPMs what I still have to do is I'm going to cut off one gear off of that front sleeve pulley then I can move everything down and close that gap on the motor move that down lower um, so the uh, <coughs> So the, uh, it's stronger, not putting as much stress on it. And I have to uh, drill a little um, on the pillow block and on that pulley where the set screws hold to it. I want to drill into the shaft and screw those in deeper. Give it a more positive hold. Not that there's any real pressure on it. 
but that's what I got. Now, if I want to change gears, I can. Um, I'm not going to mess with that front gear unless I have to, but if I have to, I can uh, switch those. Put this to the high, that to the low, that to the high, and switch that to the high, and I'll get instead of uh, 3,000 RPM, which would run it up to about uh, 7,000 RPM. <laughs> can you imagine that? 7,000 RPM on, on, those, on this piece of junk with uh, those uh, dollar seventy cent color block thing. I don't think so. Anyway, there it is. There's my uh, project. Drill press project.